Hi everybody, good afternoon. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, today we're going to start Unit 5. Okay, so we have finished Unit 4. Um, if you are interested and want me to send you via email um, the exam, then um, please send me an email. My uh, email address is on the English School Lugo website, so you can get it there. And you can send me an email and ask for the exam, and I will send you the exam, okay? Um, so we're talking about Unit 5, and it's called Super Me. Super Me. Who is this? Superman. Everybody knows Superman, I think. Um, where does he come from? Any idea? No? What can he do? Can he fly? Yeah? Can he fly? What else can he do? You don't know? Okay. Well, let's Oops, sorry. Let's um, read it for you and see what we know about Superman. Superman comes from the planet Krypton. He can fly at the speed of light. He can see through walls. He can jump 250 meters. He can speak every language. He can turn back time. There's nothing Superman can't do. So where is he from? Krypton, yes. And can you remember anything else? Let's look at activity one. Okay. Um, Alfie and his cousin, Ivy, are talking about Superman. Complete what Alfie says using can and the verbs in the box. Okay, so this is the activity we're doing here. Okay. We have the verb speak, right? To speak, to see, and to fly. All right, so let's listen to Alfie and Ivy. I'm going to read the um, audio because now I haven't got the audio CD. So I have to read it for you, okay? Superman's fantastic. Hmm, what can he do? He can do everything. No, he can't. Yes, he can. He can fly at the speed of light. He can see through buildings. And he can speak every language in the world. Okay, so you can repeat again if necessary. Okay, and we will then check. So what did Alfie say? Yes, he can. He can fly. So yes, he can. He can fly at the speed of light. He can see and can speak. Okay? Can fly, can see, can speak. All right, there we go. Okay. Then we have activity two, where we have to listen to the rest of the conversation and answer the questions. Which languages do they talk about? And which sports do they talk about? <coughs> okay. <coughs> Are you ready? He can speak every language in the world. Really? 
"I don't believe that." "Well, he can." "Can you speak any languages?" "Yes, I can. I can speak French and Spanish a little bit. We learn them at school." "Well, I can speak French, too." "Oh, yes?" "I can say 'Bon jour' and 'Merci.'" "That's nothing. You can't speak French at all." "Well, I can skateboard. You can't." "I don't want to skateboard. I like other things." "What about skiing? Can you ski?" "Yeah, I can ski a bit, but my mom and dad can ski brilliantly." "I love skiing. I can ski really well." "Okay, okay. We can do some things, but Superman can do everything. There's nothing Superman can't do." "Oh, you and Superman. Remember, he's not real. He's only a uh... Okay. So, if you need to listen again, go back, okay? And then we'll answer the questions. So, which languages do they talk about? They talk about two languages. They talk about French and Spanish. And which sports do they talk about? They talk about skiing and skateboarding, okay? To use a skateboard, um, many people can, I can't. Can you skateboard? No. So the sport is skateboarding skateboarding, right? And then they talked about skiing. Be careful with skiing, okay? Double I. And it's not skying, right? Um, right? This place is the sky with a Y and we say sky, okay? But the sport in the snow, skiing, to ski, okay? All right, um, in activity three, complete the lines from the conversation with can or can't and the verb. Okay, so we're talking about can and can't in this lesson. What is can and can't? Okay, it's talking about ability, right? If it is possible for you to do something. I can speak English. I can speak Spanish, okay? I can't fly. Okay? So what you can and what you can't do. Okay? So complete the activity with can or can't plus the verb. Okay? And then you stop the video and when we come back we'll check. Okay. Welcome back. Number one, can you speak any languages? Yes, I can. I can speak French and Spanish. Two, you can't speak French at all. Three, I can skateboard. You can't. Four, can you ski? I can ski a bit, but my mom and dad can ski brilliantly. Superman, number five, can do anything, everything. 
There's nothing Superman can't do. Okay. So if you need to repeat, you can go back and double check. Okay. Remember that Ken has a interesting pronunciation. Okay. I can ski. Okay. I can, can, not can, can. I can ski. Okay. I can't ski. And be careful with the negative. Be very sure that t is there. I can't swim. Okay. With the interrogative. Can you ski? So here it sounds more like can. Can you ski? But here it's shorter. I can ski. Okay. All right. So um, here you can look at the grammar in the back of your book. Okay. Let me show you. All right, it's on page 137, 137, 5.1, okay, 137, sorry, Victor, uh, here, All right, let me bring it as close as I can, okay. So, can and can't have the same form in all persons. This is fantastic. You know, I can, you can, he can, she can, it can, we can, you can, they can. There's no change. There's no S for he, she, it there's no change, okay? Um, all you have to remember is the negative, right? And again, the negative is the same for I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. It's the same as well, okay? Um, be careful. This is the negative, okay? We don't need the auxiliary do, okay? In the negative, don't or doesn't. I don't can swim. No, I can't swim. You don't need the auxiliary. You just need this negative, okay? So it's easier than the others, okay? Um, all right, so let's go back to unit five, to page 39 now. And we're going to look at the practice. Okay. Listen and complete the chart for Ivy and Paul. I probably just showed you the answers. Okay. So Ivy and Paul. Let's, I will listen. Please read about Ivy. Not Paul, sorry, only for Ivy. Listen and complete the chart for Ivy, okay? So, what can I do? Speak a foreign language? Hmm, well, yes, I can speak French and Spanish a little bit, but just holiday Spanish. Cooking? No, I can't cook at all. My mom can, she's a fantastic cook. Hmm, sports? Well, I think I'm quite good at sports. My cousin Alfie says I'm not because I can't skateboard, but skateboarding's not a sport. I can swim, of course. Everyone can swim, can't they? I can swim very well. I like swimming and I like tennis. I can play tennis quite well, but skiing is the best sport. I love it and I can ski really well, really fast. Musical instruments? Mm, well, no. I can't play any musical instruments. My dad can play the guitar brilliantly, and my mom can play the piano a bit. 
but I can't play anything at all. Okay, so you can go back, all right, and put a tick or a cross. Listen again if you didn't understand the first time, okay? And then look at number three. Complete the sentences about Ivy with adverbs from the box. Okay. So there are the sentences, more or less. Well, Kevin or Victor, you can just ignore them. All right. So stop the video and come back when you're ready. Okay, so number one, she can speak Spanish a little bit. Two, she can't cook at all. She can swim very well. Sorry. Uh, four, she can play tennis quite well. Five. She can't, she can ski really well. Six, her dad can play the guitar brilliantly. Seven, her mom can play the piano a bit. And eight, she can't play anything at all. Okay, so remember when we talk about these adverbs, right? Um very well and really well, okay? I would say really well, very well, quite well, I missed one, uh, a little bit, not at all, zero percent, okay? Not at all. And then, sorry, at the very top, brilliantly. This is the best. So you have brilliantly at the top and at the bottom, not at all. Okay. Now look at number six. Listen and underline what you hear. Okay. Let me find it. Okay. Number one, she can cook. Two, I can't hear you. Three, they can't come to the party. Four, can you see my glasses anywhere? Five, you can't always get what you want. And six, can you do the homework? So again, go back if necessary, okay? And let's correct. Your options are can and can't. So number one, right, was can. Number two, can't. Three, can't, four, can, five, can't, and six, can. Okay, so that's it for today. Next week, there aren't any classes, okay, um, because of Easter. So we will see you in um, two weeks, okay? So we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.